Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Pokemon Peril. If you're watching on YouTube, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click that little bell to be notified when I post again. And, if you aren't doing so already, check me out on Twitch, Dungeons with Shepard. Link in the description below. Alright, so this is where we left off last. I think this is actually a new route. Uh, and that actually makes me remember that I'm not too sure if we're actually supposed to have Hoot Hoot. Uh, because we got Hoot Hoot on Mount Cornet. But Mount Cornet is a very large area, and we may have uh, gotten or had an opportunity to catch a Pokemon on Mount Cornet without me realizing it. Let's go ahead and get. Go ahead and grab these berries. I do wish the that's that's one of the things that um I kind of like that they changed in the newer games. Well, not the newer games, but in Arceus. I don't know if they did it for Sun and Moon. I actually don't even know if berries were in Sun and Moon. Probably. Most likely. Um, but I always wish they would make the collection of berries faster. And in Arceus they did, because you just throw a Pokeball with a Pokemon, whoever's on your begin the start of your team, and uh, that Pokemon collects the berries, or the ore, or the rocks, or what have you. And then you can... Honestly, it's kind of evolved into the gameplay that we see into it, which is just drive-by collecting. So it's actually a little too fast, in my opinion. Because now you just do, like, drive-bys, and you toss the Pokeball out, and you don't actually see the animation. You just run by, and you still get the stuff. Which, if you just want to be speedy, 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 yeah, that's good. But, you know, I feel like it might be a little too fast. The Berry Master. I hand out berries daily because I want people to learn how wonderful they are. Oh, well, that's sweet. Perfect for Earth Day. You're just, why, yay! I got a berry. I actually don't know what a leper berry is supposed to be based on. I mean, a, no, that's a cherry berry. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what a leper berry is supposed to be based on. Uh, no, 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 I'm good. No mulch for me, thank you. Hello, small child. Yes, I am a forgetful type. Ah, yes. A kinship with a small child. Oh! Neat. Bam, bam. Now, I feel like there's a town there. Oh, he almost got me. Oh, he... <gasps> that... He's following me. That... Bastard. He was following me. He was literally following me. Oh. No, 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 he's a, he's a battle. He was just following me. I wonder if you can trick him. I wonder if you can trick him. You can probably trick him. I kind of tricked him, and then he, he he got untricked. So so this thing usually only knows Halden, so I don't know what it has now. Flame wheel, go! This is probably a mistake. Got a high defense. This was a mistake. What is that? What did it do? A whirlwind. What does that do again? 
I feel like I should know what that does. I don't remember. I think it might be... No, I don't remember what it is. I have no idea. Rips up a whirlwind. See, I would think it would be whirlwind, but... Something tells me it's not. It doesn't matter now, because it's dead. Ditto! What does Ditto have? Ditto has Dark Pulse. Because uh, we loaned what the last one had. So Ditto has Dark Pulse. I'm actually going to send out Teddy. And I'm pretty sure we can out damage this one. I mean, I know we can out damage it. But. I'm gonna. I missed. And now we die, because every time we miss, we die. Okay, it doesn't do as much as I thought it would do. Which is good. Good, 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 good. Uh, for a minute, I thought it missed again. Also, it's my quote quotations favorite Pokemon, Ditto. Because I'm indecisive and can't choose a favorite Pokemon. Did we? Oh, that's right. We get left arms. That's right. It really doesn't matter too much if we one-shot this Ditto. Oh, that's always. I forget that that can happen. See, look, that also makes me think like the balancing of moves in this game isn't that great because Flash Cannon has 100% accuracy. It does really good damage, base damage, and then on top of that, there's a chance for it to lower the opponent's special defense. So, if we look at other moves that do similar things, their accuracy is usually not 100. <clears throat> but Flash Cannon is so it's it's a great move uh, i just it's really just strange to me the balancing of moves in pokemon i don't really think there is a balancing i don't really think they put much or any thought to it I'm really just looking to see if this is a new town. It is. Oh, we're about to fight. Oh, that's a binary. Who are you? Lots of binaries. It's a baby! Oh, Pokemon contest. I see, I see, I see, I see. It's a baby. Alright, uh, what's the Pokemon song? He looks like a fisherman. Uh huh. Contest all. Okay. Look at people. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Why is it so slow? Showing you to... No. I didn't think it would actually do it. I really didn't think it would give me a trust. I just pushed B out of instinct. I'm guessing that's the contest, huh? Let's, uh, let's see what they got here. 
I really just want to go to the Pokemon Center. One, to heal, obviously. And two, to see... Helix Fossil. Twist a Spoon. And a Potion. And a Soul Show. We... Hmm, this feels like cheating. This feels like cheating. Technically, this is a new area. This this is like a free Pokemon because I don't think you can fish here. So this is this is just a free Pokemon. When it, at, whenever we find the uh, revival place, whatever that is, we can just bring this fossil back, and we'll have two. I'd like to purchase twenty. No, I'm going to buy one because I don't know what the helix fossil will be. It could be something great, could be something terrible. Uh, twist the spoon. I'm also going to buy some more potions here. How many can I buy? How many max? 66! Oh, that feels good. It feels really good. Don't need that many. I'm going to buy 20. Sixty-nine. Nice. But no. This way we get Premier Balls as well. And they never made it to where, oh, if you buy 20, then you get two, because, I don't know, they just never did. Yeah, so I need to find out where we can uh, get Smiles for All, Delicious Poffins. Oh, the Poffin House. I need to figure out where we can revive Pokemon at. This is actually what I wanted to do, because I wanted to look at where we got these Pokemon, the ones that are dead. Uh, well, it won't be... It won't be Doug, so... Mount Coronet. So we caught... Okay. So we actually shouldn't even have Hoot Hoot because we caught Nose Pass, which was a Weedle. We caught a Weedle at Mount Coronet. And this is also where we found... Let me, let me just make double check. That's not what I wanted to do. Make sure this is right. Mount Coronet. Okay, so we found both of them at Mount Coronet, so we actually shouldn't have Hutu. Because it's it's the same... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It is the same route, same area. So, Hoot Hoot is actually a, uh, an extra that we shouldn't have. So I'm actually going to put him, put him down here. Which is sad, because I just, I looked it up before stream and Hoot Hoot evolves at level 20, so we were actually about to evolve Hoot Hoot. That's really, that's a shame. And that's, that also means we wasted a whole bunch of time leveling up Hoot Hoot. Uh, last, last session, when we couldn't even use Hoot Hoot. Oh, let's go ahead and heal. We'll go back to that, um, <clears throat> to that patch of grass, and we'll see who we can catch, because that is, that is a new route. That is a route we haven't been on. Uh, yeah, so that is a new route, that is a route we haven't been on, we can actually catch a new Pokemon there. I feel like that is the... the it's the baby. <laughs> no, it is not. Well, the other one is the troll. I think that's actually the first baby you see in Pokemon, ever. I don't think you ever see an actual baby, you see toddlers. I don't think you actually... Well, no, there was a baby. 
I take that back. There is, in fact, a baby. The, uh... One of the... I don't know what his name is, but it's like a, a dad or whoever. Who has two kids, and one of them is, in fact, a baby. That's the first overworld baby, you see. So we, we have two choices here. We get to put... Well, no, we don't have honey, so we're doing this. Let me just make sure. Let me, let me just make sure. Double check. 208. I'm pretty sure we have never been on 208 before. Triple checking. Two oh eight. Coronet. Two oh eight. Coronet. Yeah, look, this whole route here is coronet. Even all the way up here. All of this is Mount Coronet. Yeah, so this is this is a route we have never been on. And it's very small actually as well. So this is a new best friend. And these Pokemon are pretty high level. And and it's we are not gonna be able to catch this line. It's a fully evolved, it's a Sceptile, we only have Pokeballs, we're not gonna be able to catch this line. Uh I'm gonna use Sludge Bomb because I don't think it'll take it out. That's a decent amount of damage. This this is kind of dangerous though, because even if it does take it out, it will get it very close. So we can't hit it again. And now I think I switch in. Well, let's see what we got here. We do actually have one Ultra Ball. I think what I do, I switch in Teddy. It's locked in to um, uproar. I switch in Teddy, I poison powder, I try to get the Ultra Ball, because that is the only way. I mean, not the only way. There's a chance we could catch it with the. I actually did more damage than I would have liked it to. We actually. There is a chance we can catch it with a Pokeball. There isn't no, not a chance. It's not a 0% chance. So it is a chance, but it's very unlikely. It's very unlikely that we'll actually be able to do it. So I think, honestly, I could probably hit it with a Magical Leaf. I really probably could. But I think this is better because um, Pokemon who have a, uh, a status condition are easier to catch. Usually that status condition is paralysis or sleep, but this, this should do something. I hope. And it also will weaken it a little bit. Which helps out more. So this is our only Ultra Ball. I really hope have to hope that we catch it here. If we don't, then it's very unlikely we catch it at all. It does have a very low catch rate. We did it! We have a septile! It's gonna die! I already know it will. It's gonna die. Absolutely. There's no chance the way this, this is going that this septile will survive, but we have a septile. Septile, fun fact, my first starter in... Uh, the original Ruby and Sapphire was a uh, Trico. So my first starter was a Sceptile. Sceptile, the forest Pokemon. The leaves that grow on its arms can slice down thick trees. It is without peer in jungle combat. Alright, chat, we need a nickname for Sceptile. You want to get a nickname for Sceptile? I'm honestly really amazed that we actually caught this. 
Oh, we poisoned it. I gotta use an antidote. I gotta use an antidote on it or I'll die. Uh, I actually, I never did name my original Sceptile. Because back in those days, I didn't nickname Pokemon. Recently, I have. Recently, I have uh, began to nickname Pokemon. I do, I do now. I didn't before. I didn't then. But I do now. I really don't know why, but I do. Uh, what's a good name for Trico? Not Trico. Sceptile. Uh, this is this is what it's gonna be because it's the first thing that popped in my head. Pewter, Pewter the septile. I don't know why that was the first thing that popped in my head. Oh, I forgot immediately. I do have berries. Let me use the berries. Let's see if I have a paralysis, sleep, poison. Dude. Let's actually uh, look at uh, Pooter's uh, summary, stats, all that good stuff. No held item. Somewhat vain. Liquid ooze! If it, oh, that's cool. Inflicts damage on foes using draining moves. That's pretty neat. That's pretty cool. Uh, we are on a tackle. Special attack is only one off, so you know, not much uh, worse. Special defense is really, well, I say really high, but pretty good. Pretty good. Defense is atrocious. Uh, Mist Ball, Overheat, Tickle. It likes to tickle. And Uproar. So uh, we have a really good moveset. Uh, overheat, you know, it can miss. It reduces our special attack, which actually may not be the best. Uh, tickle could be, you know, pretty fun. Uh, it's, we can't really make much use of it. Well, we do have a bad defense, so Tickle will reduce their attack if they're using physical moves. <clears throat> which will actually help us in the long run. So, I like Tickle. Uh, uproar really good over that time no one can fall asleep that's actually good so um, if we encounter a Pokemon that has rest which is unlikely but possible uh, we have uproar and it's actually a really good baseball a standard baseball and we also have miss ball may uh, also lower the target special attack that's good it's also 100% accuracy it's great only 5 pp so we'll have to like maybe raise that over here is the only one I'm not like super excited about because it does have 90 accuracy, but because we don't have uh, hoot hoot anymore, then uh, that's that's good because that gives us a file type move to work with now, which we don't super need. The only thing that's going to be really good for is ice types because we have ring at wing attack for uh, grass types and bug types and for fighting types. Uh, but in regards to fire, it really only counts for bug and uh, grass. Uh, actually, this is good for steel as well. I, um, I almost forgot. It's also good for steel. Uh, so, do I have anything that raises, like, special attack or anything like that? Any items that are good for special attack? Forgot we had this. Grass type moves. I don't have a grass. Oh, we... Boost power. We could use this on Teddy. I was thinking of, like, the grass plate that we had, but we also have Rose Essence, which does the same thing. Uh, but I think the... Honestly, I think the leftovers have been really good. So I think those are better. Pales Heat and Boost Ice type moves. I forgot about that. I forgot we had that. Uh, shiny Stone, Choice Specs. Boost Special Attack, but allow only one kind of move to be used. So we could do that. Actually. 
We could use this on Teddy, but if we do that, then a uh, tail glow is useless because we have choice specs. Uh, and that locks us into using uh, tail glow. Which I'm not too sure if it's worth. It might be. Uh, we could also give, we could give this to Sceptile, Pooter, uh, and that's good. Oh, the Holdo. Oh, they changed it. I forgot they changed it. You used to have to hold experience show for it to work. Now it's just something that you turn on. And everybody in your party gets it. I forgot they changed it. I, I haven't been using it. Because I was like, I'm never going to use it. But <clears throat> but this makes it so that I don't have to have them in the beginning of the party. So I could actually give this to Poodle. And just, just let Poodle be at the bottom of the team. And just... Get all that XP. I'll actually see if it's like, if it is half the XP. If it is half, then it's it's great. If it's not, then uh, we will need to put Poodle at the start of the team. And I would like Poodle to, you know, gain some levels. Wait, are you not fighting? Oh. An odd keystone. Okay, thanks for dropping by. Have a good night. An odd keystone. What? Actually, what does that do? Bottom island is needed to keep a stone tower from... Oh, this is a... Voices coming over from it occasionally. This is a... Um... It's needed to keep a... St Wait, why, why did he have it? Why did he give it to me? But this is a, uh, 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 Spiritomb. That's it. That's the name. This is a Spiritomb, like, keystone. And Spiritomb is said to have a keystone. So, I don't know. It's trapped within the keystone. I'm not gonna go there. Just, you know, I just feel like I shouldn't, you know? Had a lot of bad luck with... Uh, sure. Cool, now we have an egg. You're kidding, they're finding an egg? That it, yeah, that's... Yeah, I don't know why that's surprising. It happens all the time. I, yeah, like I don't, I don't know why that's surprising. Is that surprising? It doesn't surprise me. I like another baby. Oh, there's a gem here. And there's a gem later. So she's not actually in the gym, so we gotta do this whole little shindig. No, actually I'm not. Oh, I wouldn't, you know, I'd prefer not to. Do I have to? Probably gonna have to. Oh, hello! Then you may challenge me! <laughs> Wait, is she the gym leader or is she one of the elite four? Nope, nope, that's all. Yeah, so she's like, you, you shouldn't do it yet. And I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm kin to agree with her. Let me guess, I picked up an item. A feather. I don't know, maybe. I don't know. You know what? 
sure we'll do this next time so if you enjoyed the episode remember to like the video subscribe to the channel and click that little bell to be notified when i post again and if you aren't doing so already check me out on twitch dungeons will shop link in the description below now see you all next time